I was going to open Golden Lantern 19s for this video, but I'm going to spend over 50,000 credits on Golden Egg 19s to possibly get painted mainframes for this crate opening today. And there they are. Let's get it. It's a lot of credits, man. A lot of credits. But here we go. I'm excited. Leave a like if you are as well. I'll see you in about 10, 15 minutes. So it has been over a month since I did a video opening crates on my own just to try and get some cool stuff. And of course, now we can trade up the items we get in crates as well, which means black markets are guaranteed. I just went, as you saw, and traded over 50,000 credits for 200 golden egg 19s. And of course, in those, we have the painted mainframe. I don't believe I've ever got a painted mainframe in a crate, and it's not likely, but we will, of course, then get trade ups afterwards. So we're just going to sit back, chill and do a little tasty crate opening today. I also have a rare drop here, so there's that. I do have over a thousand golden lanterns, most of which I'm gonna open when we get to 900,000 subscribers. Live on Twitch, I assume, as a massive crate opening, but let's let's start with the surely disappointing rare drop. Yep, there it is. And now we're gonna open crates, just like the good old days. We got the grog wheels, but now we're opening golden egg 19s, and I'm very, very excited. Like I said, it's, it's weird for me that it's been this long since I've opened crates. We've got the Octane Griffin. I see how it is. Like, this really, really takes me back. I used to do this multiple times a week, would you believe it? I would do a video opening crates, having a chat, and then I'd get to a certain point in the video, and I'd do the best items only. i show you, you know, painted imports, painted exotics, and black markets, and that would be basically it. So I'm going to do a similar thing here in this video today, but oh my goodness, it has been a while. So we're just going to sit back, see what items we can get, and actually refresh ourselves with what's in this crate, because I have no idea other than painted mainframes. Will I get one in the crate? No. I'm going to say no. I don't want to be a downer, but chances are we won't. However, first exotic of the video, and it is a raging. I don't want to be raging by the end of this, because 56,000 credits is a lot of credits. So if you would like to support me and, you know, just keep these videos going, then please do consider using code PIXELARMY in the Rocket League item shop, because it's people that do that that allow me to basically stock up on the credits that I have that allow me to make these trades. We've got nipper wheels, burnt sienna, not, not great, but it, it is what it is. We'll move on. And I think I don't know. I think if we could look to get the two black markets you'd expect to get out of 200 crates, because if you don't know the drop rate in crates, if you open 100 crates, this is what you can roughly expect to get. 55 rares, 28 very rares, 12 imports, 4 exotics, and 1 black market. That, if you opened you know, millions of crates, that would be the drop rate of rare, very rare, import and exotic and black market. That's what you can expect to get. Obviously, you could be insanely lucky. It's not impossible to get 200 black markets in a row. You might be thinking, that's impossible. It will never be done. Whilst it will never be done, it's physically possible. Literally speaking, it will it'll never happen. I think the most I've seen in a row in crates is three, which is still absolutely outrageous. I mean, if it's one in a hundred, three times in a row, that's, I mean, is that one in a million? Is that one in a million? One in a hundred, which would be then one in 10,000 back to back. And then yeah, one in a million. So I guess one in a million chance of opening three crates and them all being black markets. So it's possible. It's possible to get any amount of black markets in a row. But I'm just I just want to get two. That would be great. <laughs> so be sure to let me know down in the comments if there's any particular crates you'd want me to go back, revisit, and open. I don't know. Ooh, Crimson Neothermal match in the car. I don't know these days if it would be possible for me to do another video opening, you know, 10 or 20 of every crate in Rocket League because obviously a lot of these crates are years old and there has always been a finite supply of them since the update where you get them ended. There were no more going into the game because these were only obtainable in the game for like a couple of weeks, however long each event was, and then there's been no more. So with people like me opening them and other people buying and selling them and opening them themselves, they are getting less and less. And I don't think there's, I, I don't know if there'd be enough crates on the market left for me to actually open these. And with the, with what's looking like a summer update slash anniversary update without a golden egg 21 version, I think we may finally be coming to the end of, of crates as we know it. Gift packs, anything really. You know, you've got tournament cups and everything like that to open. But as far as 
crates and everything like that, it's it's not going to be here anymore. It's just going to be blueprint drops after games. And you can't very well do a blueprint opening video because they spawn so rarely and so randomly and sporadically after games that to get 100 blueprint reveal reactions, you'd have to play hundreds and hundreds of games just for one video, which is not sustainable. So even though the crates and the great crate conversion ended at the end of 2019, it looks like I would say probably by the end of 2021, moving into 2022, if we don't see a Golden Egg 21 or a Golden Pumpkin 21, that's where we'll truly know, in my opinion, then we'll be pretty much out. I mean, the Golden Lantern 21 supply will last a long time because there were a lot of people playing the game when that came out and guaranteed they haven't been open. Let's say a million people got their five Golden Lanterns. Oh, Purple Kalos. I like those. But let's say a million people got their golden lanterns, all five of them. That's five million. And I don't believe they've been opened. So we'll probably have golden lanterns around for a while. But other than that, I don't see much else. So this is uh, this is kind of all we got. It could, be a, it could be a final hurrah. I don't know. So if you want to see me open crates again, then by all means let me know. But if not... Maybe we say goodbye to crates like a lot of people. A lot of people are saying goodbye to Rocket League in general. They're playing the game less. Content creators are, I mean, across the board are noticing a, a dip in, in numbers, I guess. And whilst numbers aren't everything, it is a good indication to see how people feel about the game. I'm still hopeful for Rocket League because there's always hype around updates. And as far as content creators go, there's always a little boost after an update, even if that's like three videos per update that do really well and boost you that little bit. I've been grinding Rocket League videos for five years, so I know how it is. I know how it be. And unless the game's going to be dead and buried in the water, which a game as unique and amazing as Rocket League, I don't think will happen. There's going to be new and exciting stuff happening in the game. So I'm not too worried. But to be fair, 40 crates opened with this one here. And we've had four exotics. I was going to say we've had three. We've had four exotics, which is the amount you'd expect in 100 in 40 at that rate. We're getting one every 10. That'd be 20 exotics, four black markets by the end of the video. Will that happen? I, I really don't think so. Uh, but you never know. I'm also very heavily, very heavily considering just biting the bullet and uploading Fortnite videos. Not like Fortnite gameplay and not more than I upload Rocket League. So that maybe there would be some gameplay, but some kind of twist on it. If you were around my channel three or so years ago when I made Fortnite videos, I would do sort of helpful informative fortnite videos like challenges or more in-depth fortnite videos like one of my most popular ones 100 live players in fortnite say just better content because i just i do love fortnite like after i've recorded this crate opening i'm 90 percent sure i'll hop on fortnite and play some games rather than hop into rocket league ranked because i've already got my rocket league season rewards i've got ssl rewards from rumble i'm ssl in rumble so i've got the title i don't i'm not gonna rank up much past grand champ in doubles because i'm not playing the game that much so the drive to play rocket league is not as strong in terms of ranked so let me know how you how you feel about that i've also considered in my head starting a new pick a pixel shorts channel where I just upload shorts of Rocket League, but then again, I could upload them on this channel. I don't know. I've been thinking. I've had a lot of these thoughts. So uh, I guess I'll just keep thinking and opening these crates. And what I'm going to do, we're 50 in now. A regulation style size crate opening, if you will. I'm going to open these 150 eggs. And to save you the time, give you the best of the best, I'm only going to show you maybe painted imports if they're cool. But I will be skipping imports. So if you see nothing, then I'm not getting nothing. I'm just not showing you it. I'll show you every exotic and, of course, every black market. So I'll see you in a couple of seconds for a black market. <laughs> oh, exotic. Come on. Oh, okay. Saffron Roulette. Again, in the search for painted black markets, I will be trading these up. But it's still cool to see. Oh, black market. Come on. Oh, Trigon. Okay. I will take that. I'll take a Trigon. I didn't know that was in the crate. It's not painted, but it's our first black market. And we're only 70 crates in. There's 130 more to go. So I think we're going to get another one. And then we'll have a trade up. So this is... The perfect start, in my opinion. Still more to go for, but a good start. Titanium White Octane Griffin. That's not bad. It's not bad. Been a bit of a dry spell, so I will take that. Yeah, Painted Tsunami Beam. I'm not going to show you any more of this stuff. Just so you know what you're missing out on, I guess. An exotic first one. It's a Painted Infinium. Forest Green. Not the best wheel, not the best color, but it's trade-up material. And with this crate, we are halfway through. 100 crates in. 100 more to go. 
and I'm liking my chances of something cool. So I'll keep you posted. Oh, exotic. Another raging. Okay. Eh. It's getting traded up. <laughs> Come on. I like it. Ideal. Come on. Come on. We'll take it. We'll take it. We're moving on. Still chance for another black market in these crates as well. Oh. Oh. Hey, there we go. I told you there was another black market coming. It's not painted, but it is a bubbly. One of the better ones, in my opinion. And there's still chance for another one. So I'm happy with that. I'll take a bubbly. I'll take an import. We're going to get more black markets. I'll say at least two, hopefully three more with the trade-ups, which is awesome. I'm, I'm getting excited. Oh, come on. Oh, yo, they're clean. I tell you what, if I have to keep an exotic back, I'm keeping that one. Damn, they look fresh. You could make some sick designs with those. You know, pick pixel fashion. So number three, you never know. Okay, titanium white hex phase is going well. Oh, yes, this is going great. They're being traded up. I've never liked Balakara's. Striker anyway, you're not tempting me. You're going in the bin, but that's good. Oh, another one. Mate, we've got the, we got two black markets from less than 200 currently crates, which is what you'd expect at the very least if we open and don't get any more. And we've got tons of exotics. I can't really ask for more. If we, I mean, it's unlikely. We're aware there's so many different black markets in this crate. It might not be painted, etc., etc. It's very unlikely we get a painted mainframe. But if we nail it, if we get one, it would be perfect. Come on. Maybe a good one. Oh! Oh! That is a good one. I did not know Dracos were in this crate. I'd forgotten. Oh my goodness, Crimson Dracos. That's unreal. I mean, back in the day, that's that's an outrageous pull. Like, thousands and thousands of credits in today's currency. Oh, my, I mean, they're still sick. I'm keeping them. Black Gurnots might have to go. That's a dub. That's a huge dub. Another one. Come on. Yes. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. We're smashing it with the exotics, which is great because we can trade them up. I mean, hey, that's pretty cool. Don't mind that. <laughs> Another one right before the end. And it's a Crimson Infinium. Two more crates. Then what I'll do, I'll trade up the rares and very rares, etc. Oh, my days. <laughs> this is crazy. We've had so many exotics. That's, I mean, we could get four or five black markets more with the amount we've got. So I'm going to trade up the rares, very rares. And then we'll go to the imports and I'll see you there. I think that's the best way to do this. All right, so I've also got some golden lantern items left. So I guess I'll trade up these two, see what we can get. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're doing import to exotic trade up so we can get painted exotics. Could get a titanium white Draco. You never know. You love to see it. Let's trade it all up. I don't want to keep any of this because I want to maximize my chances, of course, of getting the best stuff. Although, Golden Egg 19, yeah, we still got Golden Egg 19 stuff. I saw a lantern item creep in there and I was like, what is going on there? But still, plenty of Golden Egg 19 stuff from the opening today. There's Orange Roulette, probably one of the most identical painted exotics to the original, still left in the game. I'm surprised. I think, I'm surprised that they're still there, basically. But we got another painted Draco there. Golden Lantern and Golden Egg mostly here. Yeah, this will be the last one. And it's an, a Burnt Sienna Hypnotic. Okay, so six black markets it says we can get. We've got two Crimson Juggler Dracos. This is the moment. Golden Lantern 21. We're going to leave that. We're going to leave that. We're going to keep it Golden Egg exclusive. Unless, actually, there's a Golden Lantern only trade that we can do that we can uh, do straight away. Golden Eggs. These are all Golden Eggs. Okay, Golden Lantern 21 there with the Fidget Spinner and a drop. And that is what we're going to do. I'll try. There we go. Another Golden Lantern one. That's already been ticked. Let's just chuck in a Rage and hope it's Golden Lantern. Toon Cobalt. Okay, what was that one? Painted Black Market. Number one of the video. Black Market. That was a Golden Lantern. Okay, so this is now all Golden Egg. I'm pretty sure. So let's go. Juggler. You. You two. Could be a painted mainframe. Come on. It's a wet paint, non-painted. Okay, okay. Let's go with you. We'll go with you two as well. All non-painted. All golden egg 19. Come on. Oh, it's another wet paint, man. We can't be getting duplicates with this few many exotics. So here we go. Your golden egg 19. All of you. And so are you. Come on. It's a chameleon. It's not bad. We're going to squeeze one more out of this. I can feel it. You can go. You can go. You can go, you can go, 
And I believe we're going to get rid of the Black Gurnots because the Crimson Juggler Dracos take the cake. Final trade up of the video. Can it be big? <laughs> Tora. Oh. The temptation is so real, but I'm not going to do it. So we got a painted tune, two wet paints, a chameleon, a Tora, a trigon, a bubbly. We did get a painted black market. We did get a load of other black markets. So I can't really complain, even if there is no painted mainframe yet. But if you want to see me do this again, let me know down in the comments below and by dropping a like on it. But that is going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please do, as I said, smash a like on it. Subscribe down below to join the Pixel Army. I've been Pixel. You have been awesome. And I'll see you in the next video very soon flying in a missile haters so in shade never pick me not a issue i am a beast i'm at the top i run these beats i hold my spot so stop before it hits you it's bigger pixel